All right, so we are heading to so we are heading to Nor. <laughs> <laughs> so we are heading to so we are heading to Nor. I see. I keep saying North. New Hampshire. We are Philadelphia. We are heading to New Philadelphia, Ohio, not Old Philadelphia, New Philadelphia, Ohio, to the Warlock's grave. <laughs> Finally ready? So. That is a male witch, correct? Yes. Okay. So it's like a Harry Potter of graves. But uh, couldn't find much information on uh, the Warlock. Uh, it seems as though there's a house next to it, an abandoned house that, which might, that might be fucking cool to walk around in. Yeah. Are you gonna, do you wanna walk around the abandoned house? Yeah. Yeah, so he might have killed a lot of people in this abandoned house. Uh, what people? We have no idea. Why he killed them? I don't know. Did he use magic? Probably. He's a warlock. Um, the warlock was buried in the grave, but separated. His head was cut off, I want to say. It was separated from his body somehow. And it is, it, it's supposed to be in a different area like is a different tombstone or different what okay so i heard that it was buried at his feet and so the urban legend is like at night it slowly makes its way back up to his hands which are supposed to be cut off as well and he puts his head back on and gets up and walks around wait you actually you actually heard that he that he has come back because i've heard that his head and his body are slowly coming back together and if they do that's when he's going to come alive i haven't heard that he has that he's actually come alive yet oh i didn't read that oh well yeah so there's two parts of this guy separated in the grave people want his head to come back it's located in the ridge road cemetery um we have no idea what we're getting ourselves into because what if tonight's the night that he attaches reattaches his head to his body what if that happens tonight there's room to pull off just beyond the fence and gate into plot. Legend says this quiet, easy to miss cemetery is the final resting place of a real warlock. One stone in particular focuses of the legend. A black rectangle is said to hold the remains of the warlock. Quote, one that breaks faith, the devil. One that what? Breaks faith. That's what his gravestone says? Yeah. And it says who was buried in 1875. There's like no name. So, yeah, I don't, that's not a lot of information. Because that's not uncomfortable at all. He was buried in the grave in 1875 at the Rehoboth Ridge Road in New Philadelphia. This is like where we were for Crystal Springs. I feel like that was in Tuscarora County. That was in Massillon, Ohio. But like the county. Oh. I just remember the word, like not being, able, still not being able to say Tuscarora. <laughs> Tuscarora. Turn left onto East High Avenue. Looks like we're about to turn right onto Ridge Avenue, which I think is, I would assume that's where the cemetery is. It's the Ridge Cemetery, Ridge turn Avenue. Turn right onto Ridge Avenue Northeast. So there seems to be a lot of houses around here. Uh, yeah, this is it. Huh. So I think that we're coming up the road now. It's taking us out of town a little bit. It's a winding road. Uphill. Both ways. There it is. Yep. Do you think we can park right here? Do you think that's somebody's property? All right, we're here. It is at the corner of University and, 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 Egypt. and Ridgeway Road, Ridge Roadway Avenue. Uh, there's a house next to it, so we'll see how far we get. Mm -hmm. I was uh, a little nervous we weren't gonna be able to find it, but we did. Yes, there's uh, more houses around than I expected. So 
small. Looks creepy. Looks small. And I mean, it looks like you can see his. You can see his grave from the road. Oh, that's creepy. So I'm curious what the stone over it means. Do you know what I mean? Like what, the one in the middle right now? Well, look at all this. Yeah. Maybe that's just something that fell in. Well, that's what I was wondering if it. <laughs> it's massive, and so it's it's almost like. Did you hear that? What? Something sound like it was scratching against the. <laughs> The cement. No. Something sounded like it was scratching against the cement, like right when I bent down. Like, but I'm not I'm this far away from it. Yeah. So it wasn't me. Like legit, like. Yeah, I mean, you know me. Like, work, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Did you kill anybody around here? See, I can't make any of that stuff out. It's all the same. It's just repeating the pattern. If there's nothing there. Do people come and visit you a lot? What the fuck was that? I heard that. <laughs> I don't understand you. You're gonna have to speak clear. Were you murdered by someone in the town? All right, Warlock, what is your real name? I refuse to call you Warlock, so... Do you ever come out at night? <laughs> Will you come out at night if we join your head to the rest of your body for you? Anybody actually buried in here? Can you make this light up? Do you hang out with the other people who are buried here? Who are your visitors? Is this a mausoleum at one point? They gave you a pretty big spot for being such a terrible person. Not a zip silch. So where do you think his head is then? Well, I would assume it's down here. Because okay. that would be his. And that's his feet? Yeah. So the actual, sorry, so actually the head's supposed to be right here. Because if the head's rested at the feet, right? I think that is where his head would be and this would be his. Oh, okay. Lady. And uh, and they just inch closer and closer to each other, huh? I'm guessing. How many years did it was supposed to take? I don't know, but it sounds like that when they actually connect, all hells are gonna break loose. Well, I'm glad we don't live anywhere near here. Because that would fucking suck. Are you about done for right now? I am, my hands are fucking cold. You wanna get something to eat? I do. So we're done at the cemetery for now. Uh, we are gonna go back tonight. We're not actually gonna go into it though because it does say no trespass. Watch out, car. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it does say no trespass. <laughs> it does say no trespassing and we wanna you know, respect that part of it. But it is close enough to the edge of yeah. the fence that we are basically right next to it without going onto the property. Before we go get something to eat though, we're gonna see if we can find this abandoned house that's supposed to be on the same side of the street where he killed all these people. Like... No. Well, if it was, it's gone. It's gone now. The 
the abandoned house might be gone. His grave site looks so weird. Like I've never. You, you Why? Because it's like crooked. Well, not only that, but it's so large. Unless it was a mausoleum and it collapsed on itself. That's. The I only think thing. that's what happened because there's something in the center there that. That's not. I mean, that's not supposed to be there. Right. Feel. Right. So it almost looks like it just fell over. Yeah. But why does he have such a large one and everybody else is a normal size grave? That's what I'm wondering. When we go back tonight, I want to do the spirit box again and I want to have the EMF detector with us. And I'd like to take uh, a lot of still pictures because maybe something will come up in the pictures. You know what I mean? That we're not seeing. Yeah. Okay. No, I mean, it's better to take the flash photography at night, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, so that's what I want to do. Fine. Fine. Now we're back at the Warlock's grave. I'm gonna take some pictures and just to experience it at night and see how. Uh, if anything's different. Anybody out here? We were here earlier. Do a lot of people come out here at night? Do what? I think this will take off. <laughs> Maybe I'll take off. Do the locals come over here a lot? The people who live around you, do you go to visit? How close is your head getting to your body right now? Are you close to a comeback? Do you have a real name? Is there anything you'd like to say? All right, so now I'm gonna to try to take some photos to see if we can catch anything in the flash or anything like that around Warlock's grave. <laughs> just sounds so metal, you know? All right. Oh, there we go. Uh, we didn't really hear anything. Did you hear anything, Kelly? I did not. I just, you heard scratching when we first got there, and then I heard what I thought was you saying something to me, but I can't say for sure if it wasn't somebody that's living around here. Oh, there's a lot of traffic. God, yeah. I was very surprised on that one, too. Yeah. So I'm actually excited to get home and see if we uh, caught anything at all. Like, it doesn't look like we did, you know, but it was a fun adventure. I had a good time. Yeah, yeah. We went down to New Philadelphia to look for the Warlock's grave, and I have to say that we found something that was um, a little interesting. It didn't look like anything else I'd ever seen. It was a little encapsulated on itself. It didn't, um, didn't make any sense on how they built it. It's one of those situations where it was probably more like the story and what I wanted to happen was probably better than what we actually found. I call bullshit. It was just a random spot out in the middle of nowhere. There were maybe six graves. Um, we didn't really experience anything. We had maybe some scratching thought. Maybe we heard um, something through the spirit box, but yeah, once we got there, it was just kind of, you know, it was a grave. Everybody's seen a grave in a graveyard, uh, and nothing happened. I did hear that scratching sound, which was, I guess, something kind of weird. Maybe it was scratching from the inside. Um, but yeah, warlock is a very uh, menacing word, and I think that's all it was, was just kind of a story 
that maybe was made up, some kids made it up. So for the most part, we just hung around and asked some questions and went into town, had some dinner, came back out after it got dark and asked some more questions, but it really wasn't anything. You couldn't get in there after dark and I feel like somebody probably had a little time on their hands and came up with this, uh, this little urban legend that surrounds that town.